The struggling economy is causing problems for people of all ages, but one age group in particular is feeling the pinch in the form of fewer jobs. Teenagers are seeing a 24% unemployment rate nationwide, and over the past 10 years, 3.3 million fewer teens are, are employed. That's bad news for teens heading back to school and looking for college and high school jobs. KXLY4's McKay Allen joins us live tonight. Uh, hard to find a job if you're a teenager right now. Well, teenage un unemployment rates right now are sitting at 24 percent. That's the highest level in 44 years, which means no matter where teenagers are applying, only one in four of them are getting jobs. Stark reminder of the times. Wayne Burnham is the general manager of Tomato Street on Spokane's north side, and in a normal year, almost all of his job applicants are teenagers. But this is not a normal year. We're seeing everywhere from college graduates uh, to, to one income working mothers looking for a second job. It's a new phenomenon. In just the last three months, he's now seen experienced workers, seasoned adults, dropping off job applications. Monthly, we're probably anywhere from 50 to 60. Of those types? Of those type of applications coming through. College grads, people who've lost jobs or just need more cash, applying for any job they can find. Bus boys, hosts, uh, had one gentleman wanted to be a dishwasher just to get his foot in the door. And that increased competition is making it harder for teens to find work. Teenage unemployment sits at 24% nationally, the highest it's been in half a century. Even 10 years ago, in July of 1999, there were 8.8 .8 million teens working. Today, there are around 5.5 million. Yeah, it is kind of a sobering uh, fact that people are working at restaurants when they have master's degrees. David Sloan is one of those people. He has an MBA and waits tables and bartends. Really flexible hours and pretty decent money for the amount you work, too. David's going to go on and get his doctorate, says this is just a student job. But as long as college grads work at restaurants like this, teenagers can't. Now, the other factor might be increases in minimum wage. Uh, minimum wage in the state of Washington has increased almost $3 in the last 10 years. Now, that means some businesses told us today they're simply priced out of the market. They can't hire anybody at the higher hourly rates they have to pay, even teenagers. Reporting live, McKay Allen, KXY4HD News.